times have ended! Remember how we said we weren't gonna group together games? Uh, we lied. lied. <laughs> We're not, because they're the same fucking game. Yeah, they really aren't. We're talking <laughs> about Season of Ice and Season, season of, of Flame. And wow, it does not work in a geometric no, game. No, no. Cra uh, Crash did it well, Spyro did not. No. Uh, no. And, and, and what sucks is I, I remember having these games as a kid. I had Season of Ice I have I have both. Um, and I remember liking them as a kid. Uh, I don't. N now... Oh, they're bad. <laughs> oh, yeah. They are bad. Um, uh, one thing that can go fuck itself infinitely mm -hmm. are the speedway stages in these oh, games. Yeah. Where you have to fly through rings and shoot down shit, yeah. and it's oh, so bad because the time is way too fucking strict. Yeah. Like, I it's, always. It's worse than Spyro 1. Yeah. I always it's beat them with, like, a second to spare. Also, Especially they... the hard mode. Also, the top-down shooter things for Sparks in this one Awful. are so much more lame than they were. In, They're so in bad. Three. Well, it's because at least in three you had a chance to not get damaged. Yeah, and they're, they're really fun in three. We didn't mention it. Yeah. We, and I should have. I love those in three, but uh, they're really bad here and just horribly designed. And, and I love everything how, hits you. I love how in Spyro: Season of Ice, it's the fucking like, it's the completion bonus. Is a is a spark stage. Yeah. Ugh, called Dragonfly X, and I'm like, oh, Mega Man. Uh. <laughs> Dragonfly X. And that I didn't play because I didn't care. Yeah. Full. I mean, these games are just like. I don't even know what to talk about. Like, yeah, that's the thing. What do you even is say? That, we there's such nothing they're, games. Yeah, they're bland. They're boring. There's they, nothing to them. Yeah. I mean, who even I mean, is the villain of Season of Ice? It's a two-headed fucking shithead. Yeah, you're right. And then Flame is ripped out, right? Yeah. Yeah. Um, Lame. Yeah. But, like, it's it's so surreal to think that Crash did it so well. And then you're well, like, oh, you maybe Spyro can. And then it's like, no. Well, because here's why. you To translate a 3D platformer to 2D... It's just to make it a 2D side scroller. Yeah. To translate a 3D exploration game mm -hmm. to a 2D space is to make it, you know, the logical thing would be to make it a geometric perspective. Yeah. But like that yeah. doesn't work when you fly around. Yeah, exactly. Especially when your main problem through these games is when you fly around and you think that you can land on a platform and then it ends up that it's 60 feet higher than you yeah. and then you die and I then you everything resets. Yeah, I can especially the collectibles that you have to flame. Oh, you're right. Oh god. They fixed that in Season of Flame, thank Christ. Yeah. But uh yeah, I can give you an example of a game that did this way better. There's a fucking Ring Man game on Game Boy that has like this geometric perspective. That was done way better than this, yeah. because you know you don't have the uh, the burden of flying to things. Yeah. Because you just it's just a geometric thing, and you run because you're Rayman, you just jump and shoot. And stuff. Then like the 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 elevation of platforms in this game, they just do not make it apparent. Yeah. At all. It, 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 uh, geez, and I thought depth perception in the originals were bad. Here it's like non-existent. Yeah, you can't tell. Depth perception does not exist in this game. The hover button. Might as well just be a please kill me button. Yes, yeah, seriously. Oh god. And this is a and game I, that... I can't even like recall what the levels look like. They're all so fucking they, forgettable. They look they all look the same. Yeah. I like, think they all like look the same except one? they're like a fucking different color. Yeah, right? There was a like a beach one I remember. I don't know. In like one of the two. I, know, I, don't, I, don't, like, I don't remember which one like it was a, from though. There's one that's like trees or some shit. Yeah. There's one where it's like time. I don't know. Time? I don't know. I think that was in Flame or some shit. Jeez. It's just, it's just boring. They're Hell, not fun. The, and, and one of my biggest complaints with the, these two games mm -hmm. is in Season of Ice, there's two boss battles. Yeah. Two. Yep. In the four worlds. Or three. Yeah. In Season of Flame, I think there's only one. <laughs> I think Ripto's the only boss battle. I think so too, actually. Which, whatever. Uh, the only reason I say whatever is because I have less stages to get through and I just beat the game. Yeah. By the way, I want to say, other than Dawn of the Dragon, uh, the handheld games were the final games I played. Mm -hmm. Because I wasn't looking forward to them. Yeah. Like, I beat... A, uh, what's the second game? Eternal Night? Yeah. I beat Eternal Night... Uh, 
And then I started playing Season of Ice and Season of Flame mm -hmm. and, and you know, Attack of the Rhinox. Orange. Yeah. Uh, which is next? No, it's not next. No, next is Enter the, the, the Dragonfly. Oh, 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 we're gonna have a good time with this one. Ooh, boy! Yeah. Uh, let's just get right to that, because we really don't have anything else to say about these, do we? Do you have anything you want to add about Ice and Flame? I don't. No, go to the She does. Everyone does. Even Spyro looks bad. Spyro doesn't speak? What the fuck? I didn't even think of oh, Jesus, I forgot about that. Yup. Wow. The sorceress isn't there. They have ripped open up the fucking sorceress. Yeah. Like, they could have easily done it. Think about it. You make season flame. Wow. Flames are red. Red for Ripto. That yeah, makes sense. Yeah, ice. Hey, blue, ice. Ice or blue. For blue for sorceress. sorceress. Yeah, wow. What a yeah. You know, the Rhinox in both games. Yeah, that's true. And Rip Ripto does not have Rhinox, he has Ripdox, come yeah, on. Yeah, is that what they're actually called? Yeah, Ripdox. Okay, I, I always didn't know. It's Because it, they never explicitly stated it. It's It was it's Norks? Norks, Ripdox, and Rhinox. Okay. I'm glad I know this now. <laughs> Alright, next time we're going to talk about uh, arguably the worst Spyro game. But not I, to me. Not to me, either. <laughs> uh, and we'll get... We have two different opinions on what the worst Spyro game is. Yeah. Um... But this is definitely bottom of the barrel. Yeah. So, uh... Like, it's like it's not even, like... They're not bad. They're just boring. Oh, I'm talking about Enter the Dragonfly being bottom of the barrel. Oh, okay. <laughs> but, these are, these are, but these are these are but these bad, and these are boring, too. Like, like the thing is, like, these games aren't even bad. They function. They work No, they work. Well. They're just... It's boring. Boring as fuck. Because you can't... Like, I've always had the stance. You can't make interesting level design with geometric perspective. You yeah. You can't. Everything yeah. becomes a block. Yeah. With a Sonic 3D. I, I like that. <laughs> oh, wow. Look at me. Look at me. I'm Steve. I have an unpopular opinion. Yeah. I'm just kidding. I like 3D Blast too, just not as much as other games. Yeah, no, I agree. Uh, my friend Sour is amazing at that game. The farthest, like, I've never seen anyone the farthest, be that good at 3D Blast. The farthest I've ever gotten in 3D Blast mm -hmm. was the stage where you just get bounced all around. Oh, yeah. That's like the third one, oh. I think. I finally got my burp for the episode. Nice. <laughs> Next time, we're gonna more talk burps and, and more Spyro. Enter the dragon. Fuck. Bye.